Hi, my name is Hosa. What's up? Hey, I'm super sexy Steven today, and I don't know what we're doing. What's up? Hi, my name is Hart, and I got a question. But before the question, I got a story. Okay. So I was in church taking studious notes, like the perfect person I am. All right. And I kind of tuned out of everything. And in my notes, I just had one question written. Am I cringe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> no problem. You know what? You wanted an answer. I provided. <laughs> Boom. You're welcome. Okay, so um, some some context. So this was a brand new church, and I was meeting a bunch of brand new faces. So I was like, "Wow, cringy me two years ago wouldn't be able to do this." But then I thought, in two years, will I think that same thought? Because when I was 16, I would think back to my 14 year old self and think, "Wow." I was so dumb and cringe. And then when I was 18, I would think back to my 16 year old self and think, wow, I was so ignorant and cringe. So that begs the question, are you cringe now? Well, I mean, the definition of cringe changes every year. So I mean, what's cringe now isn't cringe like 30 years ago. Well, I, I get that, but everyone has those burnt in your memory moments of cringe, right? But it was just like, oh man, I thought this philosophy on the world was the right one, but it wasn't because now the one I have now is perfect. And then I get older and I'm like, wow, I thought I knew the world then. I didn't know anything, but I know it now. Okay, but here's the thing. As long as you're having fun and you're enjoying yourself, is that really cringe? Yes. Dang, okay. <laughs> So, Steven, how you said the yes. definition of cringe changes every year, I do actually have some definitions written down. So, Webster's Dictionary says to recoil in distaste, which is like the physical action of cringing. But if you go to Urban Dictionary, it says when someone acts or is embarrassing or awkward, it makes you feel extremely ashamed or embarrassed, which is probably like the most common definition people mean when using cringe. And you actually weren't that far off when you said it changes every year because the last definition of cringe I have right here is oh. Jake Paul. Dated March 4th, 2018. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that then. So it changes every now and then because what was cringe like 10 years ago isn't cringe now, first I off. Would, I would say the opposite. What was not cringe 10 years ago is cringe now. If I wore pajama, not pajama pants, parachute pants, people are going to look at me like I'm a freak. If I wore bell bottoms, people are going to look at me like, what the heck is this dude doing? Really? Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think of that as cringe hard. Good for you, hard. You're enjoying life. Thanks. I'm glad no one's looking on the table because I'm actually wearing bell bottoms right now. That's... Thank goodness. I'm probably hard. <laughs> Thank you. Please, please wear work appropriate attire to all future meetings. Bro, I'm the host. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> So, well, so here's the exact thing. So for me, I'm wearing these bell bottoms with confidence. So I'm not cringe. Okay. Right? But Steven is. So am I cringe or is Steven just cringing? Cringe. I think, I think the cringing is the problem. I think you're the problem. Because <laughs> the reason why people feel cringe is because they have what's called empathy. They feel the perception of others and get embarrassed. For them. Yeah, pretty right? much. Yeah. Right. But if the person who's, you know, doing it isn't embarrassed himself, what's the problem? So I wouldn't say it's a problem per se. I would. But <laughs> Steven would say it's a problem per se. But that's exactly what I'm thinking about. At that moment, that person doesn't think it's cringe. In any moment for me, I don't think what I'm doing is cringe. But when I look back, I do. So it's just like a never ending cycle to where I'm going to be like 44 thinking, man, when I was... 40 year olds don't sound like that. Man, when I was 40. <laughs> but when I'm 40, am I gonna think the same way? I think it's just you wanting to become a better person, looking back and saying, damn, I don't like the thing that I remember, so I'm gonna change. I think that's using cringe to become a better person. Well, real quick, let me ask y'all. This ain't just a me thing of looking back and cringing, right? Oh no, I, I cringe at my actions all the time. One time in middle school, I thought, when I thought I was all that and in a can of beans, I would purposely make my voice deeper thinking I was so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Like, yeah, no, so I would walk around recess, like someone would ask me like, hey Steven, how's it going? Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> that's kind of funny because i don't find that cringe also i think your cringe radar is just at zero dude it's pretty bad <laughs> is my cringe radar broken very 
<laughs> so I have like a similar story. Okay. So I can remember specifically, it was third grade. Me and my brother were watching Naruto. And this was like back when every girl was a simp for Sasuke. And I said, I'm a copy that. Uh -huh. And so I just acted pissed. Like I was in the whole Sasuke like. <clears throat> Could have burned down my entire village. Yeah, yeah, you know, I Killed was, my brother. I was angry, oh. bro. I showed up angry. And whenever any girl would be like, hey, what's wrong? I'd be like, nothing. Uh. You're annoying. Uh. But the funny thing is, uh. it actually kind of worked. Uh. To where I had like five uh. of these elementary school girls like, Hunter, uh. what's up? What's wrong? Ba, ba, ba. And I'm like, nothing. I'm fine. Uh. Just leave me alone. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess you got the attention. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and only worked simply because after like the fifth year annoying, they all walked away, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> so, a question, a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you have a younger brother who's in middle school or high school. You'd give advice how not to be cringe. What kind of advice would you give? So, I have given this advice to my younger brother. I have two younger brothers. All right. And so, I... Didn't tell him how to not be cringe, but I told him, regardless of your actions, you will cringe. So make some actions and make some bold ones. Oh, really? Yeah. I've learned, like, at least in my experience, regardless of what I did, of whether I did a super bold thing or nothing, I would look back and cringe on my past self, you know what I mean? And I barely even remember my high school experience. So with my little brother coming into high school, I'm like, hey man, regardless if you do a lot or do a little, you're gonna cringe. So just... Do what you want. Hmm. I just told my siblings, if you do something cringe, our ancestors will be very disappointed. That destroys everyone's self-confidence. They're like, am I, am I cringe? Boo, you know what else destroys self-confidence? Swirlies and nipple twisters. Or uh, what are they called? Purple nurples? Purple nurples. That also destroys self-confidence. Uh, were you bullied with purple nurples? I've never gotten bullied before. Yeah, I was never like physically bullied. Yeah. I had some kids try to bully me and I'm just like, bro, who are you? Like, why are you talking to me right now? <laughs> oh, lucky you guys. What the <laughs> Wait, hell? Wait, but you got swirlies? Like, actually? I didn't get swirlies, but people hit me like pretty hard. <laughs> it was kind of I'm bad. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. That's tra it's tragic. I don't, I'm not Yeah, what the fuck, Hart? <laughs> this is why I don't share my trauma with you. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, okay. So to wrap up, I suppose, uh, uh -huh. what 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 were what were our points? Regardless of your actions, you will look at yourself as cringe in the future because you will never know the world. So is is the message be yourself? I suppose so. I don't think so. You don't think so? What would you say, Stephen? You know, not everything has to have a point to the story. I think that it's a okay just to be. Yourself? Yes. You can just be yourself. <laughs> so why'd you disagree? <laughs> okay, so that's the fun. If that <laughs> if that self gets bullied, I mean you can be a better one. Yeah. I guess. However, I will say to any kids watching this, if you are now like, heck yeah, so I'm gonna show up in Sonic cosplay in school and no one's gonna stop me. <laughs> I am not advising you to do that. What? Heart, I'm already in my cosplay. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I advise you to take that off. Steven. You are not in uniform. Hey, if Heart can fucking wear baggy pants or whatever the hell he is. Bell bottoms. Whatever. I can wear wherever I want, sir. Okay, cut the mic. I gotta bully Steven. Special thanks to our legend supporters, Pippin, Collarson, Cream, Lego, Finna, Bevy, Jazool, Yuko, Sunny, Get to Liz, Thank you, Mom. Clay, Thank you, Dad. Mars, Lazula, Kumo, and France Chi. Hosa, you forgot Bob the f We also want to thank our Epic supporters and Fame supporters over here. Thank you so much. You guys make these videos possible. We have Discord. We have a Discord. There's me, Hosa. Sometimes, Steven. Grant, Max, Boof, and you. We got events. We had a bee and puppy guy watch party the other day. Voice chats, text chats, Bob the First, and you.